Hello, boys. We are on, at least. Thank you for joining us. It's Wednesday. Sure, this is going to be a good start. Let's, let's get our stuff together. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome. Yes, I know you are all watching. Not because that I want to push, Willow, but you want to see the team and the singles draw. Finally, it is here, and we go on to the next stage. The teams is the round of 16, and the singles is the round of 32. So we've been hard at work putting it all together, but there is always a formula on how it is, and we will explain it to you. And yes, it's the end of July, and that also means we catch up on all the standings and what it looks like, and essentially what the shootout teams will look like if it stopped now, and who are the captains, right? Uh, and then a few little extra little things that we always throw in so uh, we can enjoy our time watching our favorite thing, golf and the golf show. So thank you for joining us. Much appreciated. Right. Well, I take a breath. Hello, boys. Hello, everybody. Hello, How's everyone. How's How's it Hello, Mono. Yes, yes, everybody, we've been chatting for the last five minutes and we are having a go. So um, expect some entertainment, especially from Jan. And if you want to know, Jan, why are you on the show? Because he's leading Sunday Series 2. For now. For now. Mm. Yeah. Mm. How's it, Jan? Hello, boys. How are you guys? Lekker. Dani, Ryan, Fricky. Lekker. And uh, like me, three months say Wayne and Ryan, happy birthday last week. And Fetch, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy, happy, happy. Happy birthday yes. to our ducks and happy birthday to Fetch. It's his 40th today. Can you believe it? Well done on making it to your 40th, Fetch. I'm looking forward to your party on Saturday. Anybody here going to his birthday party? Oh, did you get the nod, Java? I guess the eighth noini. Then I'm cracking one. Uh, uh, I think I'm too far away. <laughs> yeah, too far away. Let me say hello to the rest of the boys. Fricky, you good? Yeah, lekker, all good. Uh, tough week, but uh, yeah, it's lekker. Darum biki warm. Exactly. Darum a biki warm. And Donnie, how's it going? Yeah, uh, same as Fricky. It's been a, been a long three days, a busy three days. Um, if I wasn't in fittings, I was in the workshop. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait for Friday. I'm actually playing uh, a round of golf in uh, a school golfer in Middleburg. So, uh, Middleburg. can't wait for Friday. Nice. I want to play Friday as well. I will get to it. I've also had a busy week. So, tomorrow I'm going to try and arrange a round of golf. So, if anybody's keen and watching, let's do it. Because, uh, yes, I can't wait until next week again because I have nothing planned for the weekend. Ryan, how's Popo treating you? Nice and warm. It's great. I must it's say it's really? been good here this week. It's been a bit warmish. So, yeah, I can't complain about that. And, yeah, also looking forward to the weekend. Going to play some golf here at my home course or something and see how it goes. And go have a lekker braai with the family. See how that goes. Moi. Well, uh, hello, Ducks. Thank you for joining us. Alan is there. Louis Jensen is there. Uh, Vickers, hello, hello. Uh, Nico Kruger. Brian Owen, hello. Says hello. Mr. Mrs. Young. Dave, nice to see you watching, Dave. Thanks for watching, Dave. Uh, Glenn, how's it, boys? How's Bloemfontein? Did you forget that you were in Bloemfontein? That's all I'm, just, that's all I'm going to say. Um, but, uh, good evening, Ducks. Nice to see you, Barry. Um, Nico played his first game at Bushwilla. Thanks for joining us, Nico. Wim Young, if it looks right, it's right, even if it's left. 100%. If I had a like button, I would hit the like button. There's a like button. Okay, I liked it. There you uh, go. <laughs> there, there, uh, Ian is there. And uh, Ian Viaverga. Nice, boys. Thank you for joining us. Uh, let's have a like a golf chat. If you have anything to ask, you may ask it. That's all I have to say. I want to go through a few things quickly. We know it's the end of July. And just to remind you what's coming up in August. For the key, this is what's coming up in August. Yeah, Mazo. Uh, obviously, we're starting at uh, ERPM, uh, 6th of August, and uh, not one of the favorite courses for me, uh, having uh, some, some two rounds there and uh, 89 and a 90 there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Thursday, series, uh, Royal Joburg West, a lovely course. I uh, believe it's looking in uh, Great Nick, 17th of August. And then Sunday, series two, Eagle Canyon. Uh, remember, that's a Saturday, guys, 19th of August, uh, team from uh, quarter past 11. Boys, did you realize that that's two days apart? Mm -hmm. So for us who love tournaments, we play, we're playing Thursday and we're playing Saturday. What have we done when we put the schedule together? <laughs> no comment. No comment. Honestly, <laughs> every good. year that that's happens, good. we like make the perfect schedule. And then you get halfway through the year and go, oh, God, we missed this. Anyway, so we've got two days, but it's lacquer. We have two days in a row. And then we've got a just over a week 
and then we play Sunday 1 at Kyalami. And then that is our finals practice round. Practice round. Uh, until we get to the classic. And that's rushing up. We've been working hard behind the scenes to make that happen. Um, then there's also Limpopo on the, is it the 28th of August, Ryan? 27th. 27th of August, we mm -hmm. at Elements. So, yes, um, that's another one we're looking forward to. Uh, I reckon that can be some practice for guys for next year's one if they want to. I, I think it's a good opportunity to practice with some fellow ducks um, mm. for that one. So, yeah, we can get, get a couple of guys to come and join 27th of August. Yes, that would be great. I was, I was there and then I realized, uh, no, I have to work. So, unfortunately, I can't make it. But the good thing is, I thought I was missing Eagle Canyon. Um, but I'm not because that's earlier than anticipated. So I'm there for Eagle Canyon. Yay, yay. Um, I wanted to mention the major, boys. We watched the Open. Uh, yeah. Brian Harmon uh, won it. Most of you will think, who is Brian Harmon? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, if anybody backed him to win, they made a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give us a quick synopsis. Uh, Donnie, uh, I know you watch. So what did you think of the Open this year? This guy's <laughs> pissing down with rain on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, I think it was quite uh, like difficult weather for for the guys. Um, it was good to see uh, uh, our own South African leading off the round one. It's just a pity he, he he fell off the bus a little bit in round two, three, and four. But uh, yeah, I, I think everybody saw the stats. You know, Brian Harmon in, inside ten foot. You know, he, he holds fifty eight out of fifty nine putts. Um, that is unbelievable. Absolutely crazy. So you know, for me. You know that that's a top class performance, um, and if you think about it, that putter that he's using is a, a very old spider putter as well, so it's not even like new technology. Mm. Uh, but he just couldn't miss, and uh, yeah, I'm glad for him. You know, considering that's only his third win of the like in his life, yeah. but uh, he's he's definitely set up for the next five years. You know, entries into all the majors and everything. So so yeah, no, well done to him. Like you said, set up for the rest of his life just by this mm -hmm. uh, tournament win. Um, just as, as as you are set up, Jan, you know, you are so popular yeah. that you are set up for life. <laughs> but uh, you, you guys must uh, just watch. Brian Armand is playing a lot of years eh, and is doing well in all the majors. Mm -hmm. So I'm watching him for a long time. He's a good player. So I think he set a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, for the next five years to play in all the majors, yes, it's lovely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but Maz, like the, uh, sorry, Maz, but just that the one thing I wanted to mention is that last, if, if you take, like, I watched the, the last few holes, like four or five holes, and just the maturity that he showed, you know, just to try and actually play his game, hit good shots, and not, like, even that last hole, you know, he was in the fairway, he could have easily tried to hit a miracle shot, but he laid it up, and he, you know, the third shot was unlucky to go into the bunker, but. He hit such a good shot out of the bunker there to make the pastel, you know. Um, I, I think the reason why only one, two events before, you know, was I think more a mindset issue. Mm. You know, and I think this is going to be a turnaround for him. I think he's going to be um, competing in, like in a few more tournaments to try and win it. I think uh, we're going to see his name a lot more on top of the leaderboards going forward. Yeah, or oh, we'll never see him sorry, again. Mass. Mass, sorry, um, he's one of the guys, Fricky, if you remember, I think seven or eight years ago, he had two all in ones in one round. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upper Maladara, yes. Nien, Yeah, I know you want us to see your kids in the background, but you can tilt down a bit so we can not have so much. I, I, I'm, new, I'm new to this stuff. Right? Yeah, even more. <laughs> hoi, hoi, hoi. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That's better. There we go. Yeah, it's scary. All right. Um, I'm proud. I'm proud of my kids and my wife. What? What do you? No, mean? no, no. I'm not saying that's <laughs> fine. But we want to see you on the show. It's better. Um, <laughs> gentlemen, you might have seen this going around the social media airwaves, and that is the aggregate score from all the majors that was played this year. And I, I thought it was very fascinating. Scotty Scheffler minus 18. If you put them all four together, players who made all four cuts, right? This is important. So if you think, where's Rory? There's one tournament he didn't make a cut. Victor Hovland, minus 16. John Rahm, minus 15. Brooks Kepka, minus 10. Schaffler, minus 7. Cantley, minus 5. Fleetwood, minus 4. And then I can't believe that it's only, what is that, eight players who are in the red numbers. Minus 2, or white numbers, if you want to say it. And then look at, like, Ryan Fox, plus 12. So this is very interesting. I think, uh, Ryan, I'm going to task you with this if we remember by the end of the year, for the end of the year show, that we would do something similar. 
Like we look yes, at the exactly. majors and we look who did the best aggregate scores in the majors. Good luck with that. <laughs> I have a system. I can do it. No problem. Yay. We'll hold you. <laughs> Good idea. Um, what, was, what was the Masters one on? Minus? No, it wasn't a one, but I can't remember the score now. And the open was also? Minus Don, four. you won it on? Minus? Minus four. Minus four. Minus four. Yeah. Minus four. Minus four. A bit of work to do, but we still got two majors to go. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes, yes. Um, let's go to Bushwillow. Bushwillow happened uh, this past Sunday. Before we get into the nitty-gritty of things, uh, let's quickly rate the course and how it was. I thought the course played excellently well, especially still the winter conditions that we've been having. Still green. Um, the, a lot of people said the greens were tough and tricky and fast. What did you guys think? Let's have a quick run around, and if you guys... Put in your uh, comments. We'll add it to it. Fricky, you start. Oh, man, uh, really good condition. Love the course. Uh, didn't play the best uh, game for myself, but uh, I thought it was uh, pretty good. Uh, my rating would be about eight, maybe eight and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, greens was running firmly. Uh, no, I mean, you, you had the, the odd uh, greens where you can stop the ball. So, yeah, it was lacquer. If I hit the greens, it was good. How did you putt? <laughs> no lacquer. <laughs> yeah, lacquer. <laughs> you man? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go a little bit lower than Fricky. Uh, I don't think I had the, the best of days on the putting greens. Uh, so I'm going to go like a seven, seven and a half. Uh, overall condition of the golf course was good. I uh, can't fault that. Bunkers were good, everything. Um, I just think there was a couple of silly pin positions. Um, you know, we. It could have been just a little bit more flatter spots, but overall, Happiness. Oh, I think everything was good. You're hitting on the tenth hole, eh? That, that's the only one I can think of. <laughs> Ryan, what do you think? You, um, in no, the top I think ten, it was pretty good. I think the course was great condition. The greens were, uh, I, in my honest opinion, I think the greens were a bit tricky. Yes, um, I agree with Donny. Some of the pin placements were set in a bit of a tricky spots. Um, but I think if, if you had a bit of local knowledge, aka Maz, um, you'd be able to read the lines quite well and everything. Um, if you're not very, don't play there very often and that, I think those are the guys that actually found it really challenging. Um, even myself, um, I could read the lines, but out just by a little bit, you lip in the hole or just getting past it. Um, but no, I would give it an eight, eight and a half, maybe even a nine. It was uh, considering winter and everything, uh, really great. Um, I can't blame the greens for my putting. Um, I didn't play too bad. I think I ended up on plus two or plus three. So overall, my game wasn't too bad and my putting wasn't too, wasn't the worst, if I can call it that. But yeah, I reckon it was great. That's my opinion. Uh, Jan, you hadn't played there. What did you think of it the first time? Man, it's like a course. Uh, luckily, John Ray played Firethorn last year and he won there. The oh, one next, next to it. And uh, I liked it. It was lucky. The bunkers wasn't good, my opinion. I'll give it a seven and a half. Maybe I ate the greens was good, but quick. But on the one bunker, I hit it just in the lip and it bounced 10 meters in the sky. So... That's not good. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it's a good course. The greens were just a bit fast. The three part the last hole, but was like. Okay, cool. Let me just, before I give my synopsis, I will, hello. Um, I'll give some of the comments here, Van. I love the second nine. Okay. And then uh, Ian Holtzhausen says a seven. Where's your breakdown? Food, pie, coffee. Hey, come on, Ian. Also struggled on a couple of the greens, but enjoyed the first outing. That's Hansi. Uh, Gerard Snammer says, hello, ladies. Uh, Nico Kruger says, first time out with the Ducks, and it was a hell of a lacquer. Not my greatest game, but I enjoyed it. Uh, let me give you my rating. I, I would give it about a 7.5 as well. I think the things that made a big difference in my game is I played well off the tee box. I didn't miss too much besides the second hole hitting that out of bounds. And then I don't know how you hit it out of bounds in the second hole, if you remember that. Um, from a putting perspective, my attitude was, it is quick. I'm not going to think about how hard to hit it. I'm going to literally find the line, do a couple of strokes, not think about it, and hit it. And that worked for me because I, I don't think I three-putted once. And I left everything like this. If I putted, I was next to it, and I made the two putts, which really helped. But the biggest difference was, my, I said I'm going to hit everything 85% of my swing. 
and um, that helped to get my rhythm together, to get my sync in, in check, and that's why the shots seem to come off. And I really did hit some good shots, and I'm just glad that I managed to keep it going, because at one point, yo, you would, let me show you my scorecard quickly. You would notice that I have seven, nope, uh, seven ring uh, on the second, because I hit that out of bounds. On the ninth, I topped it into the water. Can you believe it? <laughs> After such a good run, because you can see the run I had on the fifth, a birdie, pa pa pa. So I made up one, two, three, four, five shots in four holes. So that saved me. And then uh, on the back nine, steady, steady, two points, two points. Then I parred the par uh, five twelfth, uh, Donnie's favorite hole. I hit an unbelievable wedge shot in. You know when you, um, <clears throat> you know that when you hit it and you stand there like this. Like a pose. <laughs> and you stare, and you stare, and you just know this could go in. It was one of those. Uh, we actually maybe. saw it from where we are at the next yeah. tee box. And we actually like, did it, we all were like, check Maz's approach shot. That is some super awesome shot yeah. there. <laughs> we okay. saw it. It really was a great shot. Good even, even the shots that I hit badly, I hit good, which makes a uh, change. And then as you can see, the 17th, I'm sure everybody was watching. Um, to see, because I was minus four at that stage. Everybody was watching. Oh, he's going to do it. In. And I don't know what happened. I had like 135 in. I hit an eight iron in, and I flushed it. Right? It was going just right of the pin. The sun was kind of shining. And then you hear that dreaded thud. <laughs> that thud of embankment thud. And I'm like, it can't be. I've taken more than a club extra, and it's come short. So something up in the wind there. <laughs> was costly. Uh, they came in and then luckily made the two points at the end. And luckily, Jan and Yaku also made a bit of a mess on their ninth hole to uh, not go back to count backs and all that stuff. So I was very happy that at least things go your way. You know how hard, boys, it is to win these things, these, especially when you're in fields of 80 odd. It's so difficult to win. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, so you have to, you have to really be on form. Yeah, uh, things need to go your way. You need to shoot minus four, and the other oaks need to fall apart. Yeah. <laughs> right. Top that ten. Difficult. Ask me. Yeah. Top ten. Yaku <laughs> Jakobs. Another good finish. He's on a roll. Uh, minus one. He's collecting the ranking points like you cannot believe. Ashley Herman. Another good finish. I think he finished in the top five at Houghton as well. Thirty-six points. Uh, Brian Hall. Donna Paramal had a good round, but he's a member there. Jan Fenter, well done. Plus one, as we had mentioned. Peter Zakaria, a good round after a bit of a slump. Graham de Villiers there and thereabouts. Yaku Swanepoel in the top ten. And Yaku Minhaman at tied eighth. I also was watching her on the leaderboard to see, because if she made a par on the last hole, she could have uh, made a bit of a problem for me. Yeah. So, uh, luckily not. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen the video, boys, here's the rest of us who had something to say. I pretty much said the same thing, so um, don't zone out too much while I do my part of the interview. <laughs> I finally did it. That is like hours ago, man. I played so well today. I really, I was dialed in. I was hitting some great approach shots. My putting, I'm used to the greens. I played here a lot. I used to be a member. And Bushwell, I understood the greens. I know where they have to go. What helped me today is that I was off the tee box well. Um, and that's normally my problem, where I'm all over the place. But today, everything just went. I think I had two bad shots the whole day. Unfortunately, those two bad shots cost me. Um, so coming down the last, I was very nervous because I thought, yeah, chuck this away. But at the end of the day, things fell my way. I'm very happy. Any scoreboard pressure for you? I was watching the leaderboard the whole time. And there was, there wasn't really scoreboard pressure because I was playing well, I was on a roll. Yay, I'm very happy. It's been forever. So I can sleep at night. Thank you. Well done. We teared off on the 10th. I uh, really had a, a shot at 36, so a level par. Uh, 22 points, and in the second nine, yeah, we still played good golf, it was hitting the ball well, and uh, the greens are difficult. I must say, uh, it was one of the one of the part of the game that really lacked a little bit, but furthermore, uh, it was really good golf. Another good finish, so more points. You were wrecking in the points the last two. Yeah, no, I think so, just five months to go, so let's see. Yeah. Let's see. And I must also say thank you for the, the, the playing partners, you know, myself and Jan really played well. 
and we only won one up. Oh, lovely. Uh, first time playing the course, so firstly, lovely, lovely course. Uh, saw the guy struggling in the tree, so being on the fairway helped. Uh, putted well again. But uh, yeah, happy with the third place. Looking forward to play Astor, that's the target now. So a bit of form going on. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, golf is up and down, but fortunately uh, managing to get the ball in the right spots today and, and, and Houghton as well. Uh, I think I should play parking courses more frequently. The first time playing uh, Bushwiller, like a course, did my driver very, very well, played with Yaku. All the way we played um, match play, two good golfers playing uh, with us, but it was a lack of game. The green's difficult. Lack again. It's one of my better rounds in the last 10, been struggling a bit uh, the last three months since my win actually. So um, yeah, good good fun today, uh, nice, nice uh, four ball, really had fun and uh, just, just enjoyed it. Relaxed, enjoyed and uh, came off. This part of your day. <laughs> um, <laughs> hard to tell because uh, front nine my, my driver was nowhere, back nine driver came right. Um, probably putting, putting wasn't too bad and, and uh, some of my approach play on my irons was quite good as well. So yeah. So there you have it. That's what the top five had to say. Yes, Donnie yeah, had a story so, for me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a page out of uh, Robbie Michael's book, you know, and tell a story. Uh, a quick one, luckily, and it's got an ending. Uh, but, uh, yeah, on that same ninth hole, uh, obviously, I tear off first down the center of the fairway. And uh, old Robbie steps up to the tee box, and he's like, oh, he's going to hit it. Well, tops it into the water. And then, obviously, mm -hmm. Oki... Stands up, he's next, tops it in the water. So Shane Brene standing there is like, and all he's thinking is just do not top it in the water because otherwise that would have been a, I think all three or four of us would have been uh, not driving home. But luckily he got it over, but he almost hit it out of bounds. So uh, yeah, that uh, ninth has got a ninth hole's got a voodoo of. Uh, it has got a voodoo. Into. Even Peter Zach said he topped it into the ninth. That's like unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. All you have to do is get it in the air, and you sort it. <laughs> bonk, bonk. <laughs> Uh, let's go through the nitty gritty of what we normally do in uh, these series events. Uh, we'll start with the pins first. Uh, let me do the pins. Most We've of got... the boys on the show is here. Yeah, lekker, man. So we got uh, the par four fifth, Bezo, winning the golf concept voucher. Uh, par three eighth, the uh, air stone. Yeah, I'm going to take a claw die drunk, claw drunk. Uh, and nope. then par three thirteenth, Ashley Herman, the golfer eight, uh, Hydrosport. Uh, the drinks and then the par 315, the Strixon towel for Mr. Bernard Schultz. Well, well done, guys. Works. Then there were three guys who finished on the same points in the four ball alliance. So I saw my thought, let me just put everybody here and have the air time. But I put me first because I was the first on the leaderboard. Uh, minus mm -hmm. 15, 87 points. But in the bigger scheme of things, uh, 87 points isn't a lot compared to what we have seen in the past. Uh, that's seven points on the fifth. That's because I made a birdie and Joma made a par and Leon made a par. So that all came up to seven points. Uh, and the rest, the 18th, yeah, we were all sickling on the 18th properly. And the third, yes, I can't even remember. I probably, I'll, I'll say I made the two-pointer. But I was actually surprised that our team was on top because we didn't play great as a team. Ryan, this is your team. Yes, um, what a great four ball we had. Um, actually, great. And um, after halfway, we actually had a quick little look at the team games. And uh, I teased the, the group and I said, listen, we need, I need to go birdies all the way through. And I think Wagner took that quite seriously. That guy played an amazing back nine. Yep. With, two, with two bombs, he still made 21 points on that wow. nine holes. He actually <laughs> came to the party. So No wonder he said he, had a, he likes the back nine. Yeah. No, exactly. And so thanks to him, we made it into the minus 15, 87 points. Um, but yeah, that we, I think we didn't do too bad. I think the lowest is four points that we've had. But yeah, that was actually not bad at all. Uh, the, the, the 15th is a par three. Who made the birdie? That would be Wagner. He made the birdie and I made the par. <laughs> Moy. Uh, this is the other team who finished on the same points. This was a match play game as well between Hanru Reichardt versus Mark and Dylan. And there they go. They're also on it. And if you want to put this in perspective of how the others went, uh, fourth place was 13 points. Um, Yaku Yan, 13, uh, 12 points, 80, minus 12, 84 points. Let me just say that correctly. And then it goes down until seventh. And then I've actually got another page. Uh, 
all the way to the guys who struggled at the back end, making only four, which is thick. Take the first three pages. How sucking were we? Yeah. Where were you? Have I, where were you, Fricky? Did I miss where? Huh? No, I'm saying I didn't even make the first three pages, so that's how bad. Yeah, <laughs> Fricky, don't, don't, don't stress. It's like, uh, I'm also not on that page. So, uh, so yeah. Yo, that's bad, boys, because that is like minus, less than minus three for a four ball. Yo, yo, suck properly. Proper. Proper. Uh, Watch let's... it, uh... It's about time, eh? Goes in roundabouts. Par threes. Who won the par threes? Peter Printler. Minus five on the par three. 13 points. Look at that. Jeez, I haven't seen that at all. Four points, three points, three points, three points. My word. Well done. I wonder if he stroked all these holes. Probably not. It must have been a a birdie and and basically three pars, yeah. Yeah. Because he's playing off a nine. Surely, he must have birdied another hole, at least. He must have, yeah. He's low stroking, so I think he might have stroked on all of them, eh? Sure. Uh, George Hunter, minus four. Uh, who else? Eddie is there, minus three. Graham, uh, myself, minus three. What did I do? The six, I made a par. The eighth, I made a par. The thirteenth, I made a four. And then the fifteenth, I made a par. Not too bad. Theo, Werner, nobody else from our group. But well done to these guys, all under. Uh, let's have a look at the par fours. Jan, well done. Par fours with a zero pointer there. Yeah, it's like yeah, the last hole, hey? Eh? <laughs> mm. But you've taken it. Ashley second. Yaku, your playing partner, also right up there on mine as well. Ian, uh, Joma, myself, Mitchell on even, and then the rest of the boys. The last of all is the par fives. Who mm-hmm. won it? Mark Borrigero, minus three. There you go. And that's with a one pointer. Can you believe it? So he's, he's made a birdie or on the, on the first. I must say, with this par fives, that's some good scoring overall because all the par fours are high strokes. So mm. it, not everybody strokes on them. And Mark is playing off a seven there. Mm. It, I think pretty well played. Eh? Yeah. I'm going to tell you it's, that four pointer must be an eagle, guys. It must because be. he wouldn't stroke the first hole. Exactly. Yeah. So that must be an eagle. Well done. So I, mean, I think those strokes were like 14, 15, 16, yeah, 17, something right like that. There. Yeah. Uh, nice. Anybody on our panel that's we're watching? No, negative. <laughs> negative. So, Johnny, you didn't feature on anything, so you had a lovely day. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, uh, yeah, let's just say that. You had um, a scenic day. <laughs> hey, Division, Jakob Jacobs, if he's seven handicap, won this on minus one. Well done. He got himself a some brandy, which is probably gone by now. Uh, Fricky, there you are. Plus six. Well done, Fricky. You. That's awesome. Plus six. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank He's you. He's a beat rookie. Yes. Mm. Uh, <laughs> this is the B division, which would be myself and Ashley on uh, minus two and even, and the rest of the boys. There's Peter on plus one, um, and we go down. Actually, the B division did better than the A division when it looks at the points. Uh, whole ranks. We don't do it every show, but I wanted to show you this one because look at the ninth. All the boys added to the ninth for topping sure. it into the water because an average of one point on the ninth for 82 people. Wow. Uh, brilliant. It's unbelievable. The 17th is the second hardest at par five. Uh, just over one as well. When you look I'm at actually, it, to have an I'm average of one is poor. Though. Yeah, that is. But I'm actually surprised with the, the best hole, which is hole number eight. So that's par three. Yeah, you're right. Over two points. That's, that's well, actually pretty best. good. Uh, second best, yeah. The sixth hole's the best. Yeah, the six hole. Which one is that? That's also the par. Nine. Par three. That's a par three. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a par three. Interesting. Mm. I think that's... I dropped three of the par threes. Or three of the four <laughs> par threes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, always good to see where we actually struggled. Um, all right, mm-hmm. squad games or squad challenge. I think only one, one or two guys were in here. But um, I can tell you that lone wolves are done. Graham De Villiers, Kevin Ho, Ryan Jensen, Louis Oersted, and you guys, well done. You've set the benchmark, the clubhouse lead on 1,063 points. Um, sure. Thank you to Ian Holzhausen, who sends me the stats on this every week, or after every game, to let me know what is happening. So thank you, Ian. Uh, so, Fricky, you've got two more games to go. You'll definitely finish. Ian will have, he will definitely finish. Um, and then uh, our team will also definitely finish. Besides that, Donnie and your guys, I'm, uh, I think you guys are going to be struggling. But I yeah. said uh, next year we'll do the same thing, but I'm going to take control of it. 
because this year the guys were like, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, and then they're not in, they're not in. They're not in. Yeah. I'll just see who <laughs> is playing, and I'll just make the teams out of that so that it will be better next year. Um, so uh, that is it for Bushwillow. I just want to see if there's any other comments while we add it. Rakesh says, hello, gents. Thanks for joining us. Um, outside of Alice, Fricky Barnard says, Nico, um, nothing too much of interest. Okay. Right. I have a video for you. And this is, you would have, if you didn't see this, this is great. I want to do one of these. So this is um, an Instagram page, and he's made a little song. Oh, bad drive, got a chip out of the trees. I'll get out in no time, got my trusty wedge with me. I check my bag, then I check it again. My heart falls to my feet. I left my favorite wedge out lying somewhere on the green. So I start to double back and I'm getting super pissed. Where did I leave it? Where the hell did I leave it? At the ninth, the eighth, the seventh, for the sixth. I'm asking everyone, nobody has seen it. Suddenly I turn to see a man with arms outstretched. He's got my club. <laughs> I really appreciate it because I know what a lot of effort it is to put things like that together, and but I don't know where that wedges come from. It looks like he came from a rice field somewhere. <laughs> yeah. 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 So the funny part yeah. about this one is, uh, with us, uh, you'll get your wedge back with a drink that you have to take for yeah. leaving clubs behind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly. Ricky, I've got a video for you as well. Are you ready? Uh, God, yes. Here we go. Your odds of getting in a plane crash is 1 in 11 million. Now, your odds of breaking 80 is 1 in 11 trillion. That means you are a million times more likely to get in a plane crash. That's how much you suck at golf. <laughs> Listen, it was only Bushwiller, okay? And he's plus six and he's not that bad, okay? I'm still in it. <coughs> I find those odds are unbelievable. Imagine, yeah. one in a million, what, 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 just to break 80. Sure, boys. So, uh, I think most of us break 80. Well done. No, yeah. sorry. Yeah, Jan breaks 80 quite... I don't break bad. 80. I've never broken 80, so my bad. Okay, <laughs> last video long. until we move on to the, the, the standings. Even. Um, we mentioned not too long ago that uh, the locker rooms had a ranking on SA Top 100 ranking, what, 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 and... Uh, we treat them as they know what they're talking about. So I was at Pretoria Country Club today because there's a Sunshine Tour event coming and we had to uh, do a technical rig thingy. And I thought, wait a minute. When we spoke about this, Pretoria Country Club was on top. Remember? Yeah. yeah. So if you didn't know what Pretoria Country Club looked like, well, this is what it is. So I took a few seconds to quickly do this for you guys. So I made a stop here at Victoria Country Club today and I thought, let me check out the change room, seeing that the discussion we had not too long ago was the top change rooms in Gauteng and the country. And Victoria Country Club came as number one right up there. So I thought, let me show you what the number one ranked change room is and what it looks like. As you can see, very, um, I think, posh. It's got uh, the old feel look with the black and white tiles, the nice big cupboards, the plush carpets, and then areas where you can sit and chat with your friends, like um, the couch area and there's a table area, plenty space, and uh, something really that you can feel like you've entered a proper country club setting. So there you have it, now you know what the Victoria Country Club's change room looks like if you haven't been here, and why it is ranked the way it is ranked. Right up there. What do you think? Mazo, from, from our previous talks, uh, it, it didn't look or sounded like it was great, but from what I'm seeing, it's, it's actually looking very well. It's got a, like a relaxing vibe. Um, it's not, obviously, the tiles is probably not that great, but uh, yeah, it looks nice for me from my, what I've seen. My honest opinion, it is big. It's differently designed, but it needs a bit of an upgrade. I would yeah. never rate that as number one, but that's just me. Um, yeah, 
Oh, yeah, Mez, I'd like just to, to add, I've, I've been lucky to be um, at Blair Athol, like clubhouse in the, in the locker room and everything there. So for me, it's like I do think, like, you, you can't compare almost. Like, Blair Athol's locker room is sort of like 10 times better than that, you know, just looking at that there. So it's just, yeah, I can't understand how it's one. I would w- wish I knew how they rate it. That's the. I wish I knew. Maybe I should try and hound that oak to get him on the show so he can. Uh... <laughs> Stuart McLean, I think it is. So we can ask him, who the fuck do you come up with this stuff? Um, but 100%, if you, if you compare Blair Athol to that, yeah, yeah. there's no comparison. Yeah, there's no comparison. Okay, standings. Let's go through the standings quickly because it's the end of the month. Uh, don't forget, the player of the season wins a set of irons plus a bag. Yay, yay. And the series yeah. champions win a year's supply of switching golf balls, the, Zs, the, the Z Stars, which is very, very nice. Uh, Sunday Series 1. Here we go. Fricky, this is all yours because you are leading it by one point. Yes. Let me go through my uh, perspective team. It is Fricky Del, where the captain is. Grampy De Villiers. Janneman, I don't think he's going to play with us. One, he doesn't love me anymore because he's playing for the other side. And then uh, Gerard Simon, Jakub Swanepoel, Vickers Lee, Peter Zak, Jason Ivans. Great to see him there. But I do think he features on the Thursday. Wimpy Foss and Vaughan Williams. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a lack of team if it continues like this. So, keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Uh, this is Thursday series. Yandre, the champion of last year, is now back up there. He is now leading after his round at Glendower. Ian Halsey is second and he's only one point back. He's tied with Barrent, also on 200. They are very, very tied. Uh, Edward is fourth. He was at first for a long time. If you look at the bubbles at the bottom, first, first, sixth, first, first, second, fourth. Leon's moved up. Uh, Vickers has moved from the once, the first spot to uh, fifth after his um, performance at Glendower. Uh, Kevin is there. Uh, Peter Prince is steady. Gerard Gerber and Grant now moves, no, stays in the top ten. So that is what we look like. So if this was a shootout team, this is what it would be. Then, Sunday Series 2. Look at this, Jan. You are four. This is the most lead of all of these. You are three points ahead of Jaku Jacobs. You take us through the summer. Okay, the second on Jaku. Mm-hmm. Let's look at Leon. Two plus three, Grant. Ach, nee, Krijm. Then we have Louis Jordan. Oh, Ringer. I don't know if you know him. <laughs> baie goeie speler, baie, en dan uh, daar is G-Man ook en dan kan ek hier wie sien uh, daarna mm-hmm. en daar is die groot ringer eindelijk, ek sien sy handicap, uh, jy moet kyk uh, Ryan, daar is groot moeilijkheid <laughs> en dan natuurlijk sit ons al met jou self daar en dan met uh, wieke so aan die einde so ja, yeah, is interessant Would you be liking to captain the team? So sê, just say again, Mass Would you like to be captaining this shootout <clears throat> team if it ends like this? Yeah, why not? Mm. It's a good team. <laughs> die vraag nou, Jan, is, is like, wil jy hebben van een nul afspeel vir jou span, of wil jy hebben van een twee of drie afspeel? Ja, ja, ek sê jou back. Ek sê jou van een nul af wat. And Ryan, you're you're into the team now. Jy is een baie goeie speler. <laughs> well then, Ryan, you're, you're into the team. What's good about this, is uh, that, that there's quite a few uh, uh, sum of players on, on both leagues. So yeah. it's very interesting to see where they feature on the, the league, and then, mm. you know, fall out in the end. Yeah, especially Graham and, and Harrod, you know, yeah. they're in both uh, Sundays. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see. You know, it's like it would be so quite funny as like if he's not in your team, Fricky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't forget, if you're wondering who, what team you're going to play for, where you finish highest, that's yeah. the team you go into. Um, uh, while I've got you, Jan, this is how you, this is why you're leading Sunday Series 2. So you miss Benoni Lakes. Kilani is only 19 because we played nine holes. So you cannot miss, you cannot go wrong in the next four rounds if you want to keep leading. Yeah. Axel, all for your spiel. Fricky, a challenge here for us. That's right, that's right, that's right. Let's yeah, point yeah, out yeah, a couple. Yeah, no, no. Centurion, you shot 41 points and you got beat by Vickers Lee on 42. Unlucky there. Yeah, unlucky, eh? 39 and Wanderers and you got beat by Louis Jordan. Yeah. Uh, that was also on the last hole. Everything's the last hole. I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, in Saturday was also the last hole. I didn't check the scoreboard, but yeah, it's stupid. Play safe. <laughs> and three putt, yeah. 
Okay. Uh, this is what the player of the season looks like currently. Alan Lowe is still using, but he, uh, he dropped a lot. So I think he was on 123 average points. Now he's dropped down to 114. So that's nine, nine points that he's dropped down. Jason is now right on top of him. So another good finish from Jason, and I see him taking the top spot. Grant Nell uh, has gone from, um, oh, I think he was second. Now he's gone to third. Fricky, you were there. Yeah. Um, Edwin is still in there. He will still fall out. Gerber, Jan Fenter, you're up there now. Uh, seventh position. Uh, Yaku's also made a big jump into the top 10 with his current finishes. Donnie, you are up there. And Martin Tower Tata is still hanging on for dear life. Maz, I want to add on to this. Um, it's mm -hmm. going to change a little bit because now we're moving to the group stages of singles and team games. So we're going to start allocating those points. So the guys will remember that that could change as well. Um, maybe I'll do it tomorrow or Friday. I'll add those into the rankings and update the website. Um, but yeah, we've got to just keep in mind that the guys that have fallen out, they're going to add a little bit extra points. And as we go along, we'll be adding their points to guys that fall out. Hansi says, one of the money. best change rooms to take a shit. Okay, I didn't know that. Hansi. <laughs> um, yeah, Hansi. Thank Hansi. you, Hansi. It's at the <laughs> toilet that they've marked off with that tape that says, don't use, Hansi. Because I did see one of those. You <laughs> broke one it. One of those times that you want to say to Hansi, give us more detail, but please don't. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Well done, Hansi. I hope you felt better afterwards, at least. Yeah, good. Quiet a bit. Uh, uh, see it's Yaku. While we're doing standings, uh, Ryan, back to you. Yeah. So yeah, some of the paper standings and um, how they're going at the moment. So you can see Peter is um, there at the moment, and I'm just behind him on uh, 140 there, and then Eervolt is there, Yaku's there, Wayne, uh, Topi, Louis Jensen's there, Peter van Wyk from Marble All, Henry All from Marble All, PJ Haman is there, and Billy Hall is there. So, yeah, it's looking quite good form there. Um, these are most of the regular players that are there. And then, yeah, just as a reminder that um, for the – this is the series standing. So, there's a – we managed to get hold of a Callaway Epic Max driver and Fairway Wood as the end of year prize. And then for the player of the season, a set of wedges. So, yeah, there's something to play for. All right, uh, nice. Guys just keep on playing, yeah. So, Fricky will make one more appearance, win a major, and take it. <laughs> no, he won't. He's, he's got to play six games. So, <laughs> Fricky's fallen out. He's not going to make it. Thank you. <laughs> <goodness. laughs> oh, sorry, Fricky. But you're in contention for other things. Just remind us what's coming next, Ryan. Elements on the 27th of August. Just a reminder for the guys, we had to do a little bit of a change, of course, there. But um, it's elements that were really nice enough to move it up for us. So, 27th of August from 10 o'clock. Um, guys, yeah, please join. Um, it's not too far. Gauteng, the Limpopo guys are willing to drive and then yeah, we in talks I'll get the information sent over for the guys that want to spend Saturday evening or if they want to spend Sunday even, evening as well, let me know, we can organise accommodation for those who are interested, maybe organise a house or something, um, but yeah looking forward to it, it's going to be a nice day and Elements is a very great course to <clears throat> play as well, in my opinion it's the Highland Gate of Limpopo I'm actually upset yeah. that I can't make this one because I was going to go there with the, the view to take videos and go crazy for next year, so I'll have to go back. Oh. Donnie, that was a buffalo, eh? Was it really? Nope. Um, one more video before we go to the, the, the knockouts. Here we go. Uh, this is our friend, uh, what's his actual name? Um, uh, Starlord. 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 I'll tell you how many times I'll be on the golf course and I'll le legit go, you know what? this game right. i quit <laughs> what the what yeah. am i doing what am i doing i'm spent uh -huh. all my time doing this and this is this is only how good i am why i could i could have written right. a book i could have gotten a degree i could have done anything with my life and then i get a good shot i'm like yeah baby we all agree with him don't we 100 yeah. <laughs> percent. that couldn't be more true we curse it the whole time and then that one good shot you're like yeah baby yeah, baby. Okay, are we ready? Uh, singles or team first? What did we say? Singles. Singles yeah, first. Singles okay. First. There's 12 groups to go through. Uh, before we get to this, uh, I have a bone of contention. Is that the phrase? I don't yeah. know if that's a phrase. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Um, don't, don't think that I'm being nasty. But, gentlemen, we're running a business. If you are... If, if you can't pay for things then you're going to get excluded okay um fricky how do we put this nicely 
Um, as I can't, uh, the, the easiest I can say is I think I'm a little bit gutful to lack gut um, in that way. But yeah, guys, remember, I mean, uh, as Mazo said, uh, we've got a business to run. You've had six months to pay for certain things. Uh, I've sent the regular invoices. I've contacted you personally uh, to request for payments. So, I mean, it's, I mean, the, the effort to get payments in it's 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 ridiculous uh keep in mind that if you go to a shop like the spa or a mechanic or whatever the case might be you don't wait for six months to pay the guy i mean it, the same with the golf any golf course in Gauteng, for instance if you go to the course you pay you don't wait and pay them six months later so I mean, that's hopefully the nicest that i can play so um I'm just saying there might be some people who don't feature in the singles next round because hmm. so um I can expect a big hoo-ha after the fact that, oh, but I made it, this is ridiculous, you know, duck sucks, what, what, what. Six months, that's all I'm saying. Uh, and then just to take that a bit further is we're really going to stop reserving spots for people because here's examples what happens. Hey, Maz, please can you reserve a spot for me? I will make a plan, blah, blah, blah. Sure, fine, I'm a nice guy. I reserve you a spot. And then you cancel that spot two days before the time, right? Now, the other people who wanted that spot has missed out. So it's simple. If you don't pay, you don't play. You've got to pay up front and secure your spot. That's all I'm going to say. Because it's extra admin. And you know how much goes into Dakuk. It's so much. And then we have to run after people because they think they're clever. Let's go to the standings. Yay! Yay. All right. All right. Uh, we've got to go through singles quickly so we can just put how it all ended. So we'll all take one. Uh, Donnie, this is you. Yeah. So uh, Vickers uh, tops the pool on six points. And then uh, obviously myself second on three. And unfortunately, Mark uh, fell out on uh, zero points. Correct. My pool. This is an example of um, Stefan didn't manage to play Cornell. Yeah. You had five months. I don't care. So don't I don't if I get a uh, WhatsApp I I'm just blue ticking you. Um, that game never happened. So Cornell and myself go through. This um, moving on. Uh, Yaku and Carl van der Mulen go through. This was pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, Simon didn't manage to win a match. Pool four. Go Fricky. Okay, Granel, Gerard Simon, Granel de Villiers. Oh, Granel Williams, sorry. Gerard topped it uh, with six points. Granel second place, and then Granel obviously zero points. Oh, hey. Let um, me do this one as well. This Vickers. one's a different scenario. Uh, so Donna obviously topping the the league there uh, with a the pool uh, with six points. Richard three points. Hansi, but unfortunately with Richard moving away, Hansi then defaults to the second place that will go through. So, Hansi, you have got a lifeline, so make, Go it, worth, make it worth it. Um, pool six. Anyway. All right, let's go. That's Graham de Villiers, Hanru, and Wayne. As we can see, Graham uh, topped them all, and Hanru came in second place. And unfortunately for Wayne, he falls out. He doesn't move through to the next one. Correct, so that's you are in, in my group, uh, <laughs> Edward uh, managed to beat both Ashley and myself um, with six points. I managed at least to beat Ashley there with three points. And unfortunately for Ashley, he didn't make it through. So that's that group. And Ryan is the reigning champion. Got to try and keep it. <laughs> right, pool eight. Yeah, well done. There we go. Uh, Steve, yeah, Steve Saunders, Peter Zach, and Robert Michael. Mm -hmm. uh, we can see Rob Michael uh, topping the uh, the group stage with six points, and then obviously Peter Zach on three. Unlucky for Steve, you know, not to not to get a win, so he's falling out. Correct. Pool nine. We got Jason Ivans, Paul Ricketts, and Rakesh. Um, Paul seems to be on a roll there, of six points. Jason on three points, and unfortunately for Rakesh, he doesn't go through with his two losses. Mm -hmm. Pool ten. Fricky. Oh, this is a Frickadel one. Uh, Rudolf, Fanner, and Fricky. Fricky obviously not making it, but there is a crux in this whole thing. So, uh, <laughs> so far it looks like Rudolf and Fanner are going through, but we'll see. Yeah, Kevin O, Fricky Stein, Glenn Williams. We've got Fricky there beating everyone. Glenn Williams is second, and then Kevin O unfortunately falling out. Yeah, then we've got Holtzi, John Redditoe, and uh, Moritz Malhalber. Obviously, uh, we can see Moritz and John Redditoe going through, with Ian losing out on a points difference. Why? Right. Good luck, Ian. So, 
But, but. But, but. <laughs> so for your math boffs, boffs, you're going to be going, uh, but that's only 30 players that go through. How do we do a round of 32? So there's two extra players. Who are those players, Fricky? Yeah, so Mazo, uh, in the beginning, we had the 15 pools, basically, and we said that uh, the best losers uh, will go to the uh, 16th uh, pool. Um, so obviously, there was a few calculations that we had to do. So looking at the losers, basically, with the best uh, uh, um, uh, points difference, and it appeared that it was me and Holtzy, and then we sort of had a match play some of the at Bush Willow as well, just to see who's going to be the top of the, the pool, basically. And I beat Holtzy with one, so I'm the top of the 16th pool. Okay. <laughs> so what is I it want it ordered. <laughs> what does it all mean? Fricky, how did this? So it's one versus two, because you try, you always, same with the teams, you try and avoid having the same people play each other, right? So you put them on different sides and you hoi them down one versus two, two versus three, so on and so on. Uh, am I right? Correct, 100%. So yeah, you, you had uh, your, your first uh, pools, for instance. So you had pool one and pool two, basically, but one place against the second place of the next pool, mm -hmm. second place, obviously, with the one and so forth going. So are, you, are you ready? Are you ready? So once we do all that, this is what it looks like. I hope there's no mistakes. Otherwise, we'll have to fix it. And I apologize now, but here we go. Um, boom. Vickers Lee, you're taking me on. Jaku Jacobs, you're taking on Grant Nell. Cornell Erasmus is taking on Donny Geldenes. Donny, there's your next round. I see so. Gernot Sneemann is taking on Carl van der Meulen. Donna Paramol is taking on Hanru Skuman. Edward Kotzer versus Peter Zakaria. Graham de Villiers versus Hansi Amman. Robert Michael versus Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Robert. Bring it on. I'm ready, Robert. You've been on a winning streak. That's going to stop. Round of 32. Next page. Rakesh Singh versus Lav, uh, Werner uh, Lebowski. Fricky Stein is playing Jean-Dre de Tour. That's going to be a tough one. Rudolf Rudrick versus Jason Ivans. Come on, Rudolf. Moritz is taking on Glenn Williams. Reichardt is taking on uh, Louis Odon. Fats is taking on Ian Holzhausen. Seidelstein is taking on Gerard Gerber. And Fricky, you are taking on Kero. Kero. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, that's but that's what that looks like. Uh, boys, we've got to get this done. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Especially this first round. Go, 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 go. That's all. That's going to be the theme of it. Hashtag go, go. Okay. Teams. Uh, <laughs> let's, run the, let's run through the teams. There's some team pools that did not complete. But as we said, um, it freezes because we have to move on. And this is what's happened. Three putt kings in pool one will top with bogey um, bros. They will go through. So that is uh, well done, Hansi and Rudolf. You go through with... Um, Graham and Fimpy. Unfortunately, the reigning champions are out, giving other people the chance. This is your pool, Donnie. Yeah, uh, so obviously myself and my partner, um, Leon, we're going to go through, we top the log, and then uh, second place is designated drivers. Yes, they played at Bushwiller and they beat the gamblers, uh, to, and their points difference quite big, so they are ecstatic. going through. They were ecstatic. As you can see that uh, there was one game not played, sorry for you. Pool three. Ryan, this is your pool. Okay. You are out. Yes, I'm out. Whiskey and Oris have done quite well. Uh, um, those two are actually quite informed with their team match play game, games. And they put them bar. they also going through on 10 points. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of us just didn't make up any games. And there's no, no point in really playing because we'll never Great. make up the, to the 10 yeah. points. So we move on. So that was a group where it didn't matter because the first two Oaks ran away with it. Yes. Uh, pool four. V, draw V. Uh, and up and down. So that is uh, Jandre and Dave, and up and down is Simon and Peter. They are going through. As you can see, Simon and Peter finished on the same points as Tita Green, but they've got a better points difference. That's why the points difference there. Pool five. Uh, this is my pool. Uh, this was a bit of a messy pool. Uh, Burki and Sotis, they played 3 1 3 uh, and gone through. We played 3 1 2, lost one, and we've gone through on seven points. Unfortunately, the team five um, disappeared on us, so that kind of messed things up. So that is how that looks up. Uh, pool six. Okay, let me do that. Ketty and Clip, beast from the east, uh, eight points and seven points. Uh, that is obviously Vikas and Gerard going through, and then beast from the east, uh, Lyle and Kera going through. Nice to see those guys. Well done. Pool seven. Weekend yeah, we Warriors. Go for it. 
Keegan and Edwin. So Edwin tells me that he will fly up for these games. So he's in Cape Town. So I want to see that happen. Bogey <laughs> Boys is Robert and Rakesh, which uh, well done, guys. You've beaten yeah. quite a good opposition there to get through to the next stage. And the final pool. This is, I'm sure, your pool, Fricky. Yeah, Fatty Simone is topping it. Uh, thank goodness that Thunderballs didn't play their last game. But uh, yeah, so it didn't matter though. So Fatty Simone is and the Thunderballs going through. So uh, there's two Frickies uh, in the team stages. Just hashtag the same. <laughs> <laughs> right, are we ready to wrap the show up? Here we go. Yes. Um, this is what the draw looks like for round of 16. And I'll be adding all these games. When I see people in them, in the field, they will be playing. This is the round of 16, everybody. So three putt kings will be taking on the designated drivers in the left-hand side of the draw. Whiskey and Oris will be taking up on up and downs. Um, Burkis and Sotis, Sotis oh, Soti will be taking beasts from the east. Weekend Warriors, the Thunderballs. Uh, Donny, you are playing the Bogey Rose. Yep. Vidra V is taking on Puck Puck Ten Bar. Uh, Ketty and Clip is taking on myself and Grant. Happy Hookers too. And Fatty Zamonis are taking on Robert and Rakesh. Yeah, look, it would have been nice to see Donny and them in the final, but it uh, mm. looks like we're going to see them in the semi finals now. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I think it's going to be tough because there's some good teams in here. And I can uh, just quickly say that, Vickers, you're going to be seeing a lot of each other because we've drawn each other in the singles and in the teams. So expect to see a lot of me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to eh? Well done. Will... Guys that, uh, move forward. Well done. Well done to yeah. everybody. Um, just to let you guys know, next year, me and Yaku, double J's. Back, back. Doubles. Moi. I will post all that on the yes. info groups and then I'll wait for those people who were left out to harass me. Mm. Um, yeah. But I'll post everything. I just want to see if there's any more comments before we say goodbye. One of the best known that I've read that already. Elements is a lacquer barn. Die elevated Nierende is for me my favorite. Golf Gods well, nice well, 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 and well, Pickett D says well, lacquer well, mazo. Well, Okay, so because if you're playing Sunday Series 1 and 2 this month, we can smash them both. I'm ready for you. Okay, boys. It's almost an hour. So we're going to say goodbye. That's it, yeah. Um, yes. Hold on, hold on. Donnie, did you want to say something? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, I didn't want to. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Um, we will see you next week because we build up to ERPM. And then, uh, yeah, there's lots to happen before we get to the classic. So thanks again for watching. Much appreciated. If you, the guys who don't watch the show, you know it's on YouTube. Donnie going down, Graham says. Donnie going down. Vimpy says, oh, shit, Donnie. <laughs> like it, Donnie. Good luck. <laughs> uh, Vimpy, uh, Vimpy, if you need to take a shit, Hansi knows where to take you. Okay. God, <laughs> just just to, just to let them know, I'm not the, I'm not the the, the one that's gonna strike. It's my partner Leon that does all the the, the heavy boxing and striking in the team guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm for, 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 for support. Ooh, I'm gonna take you one of the ringers too. <laughs> um, I'll leave you if you haven't seen this, but this is how we're ending. Bye bye. Bye bye.